Hello! If you had a Star Wars Stormtrooper figure back in the 70s or 80s, you almost certainly had this blighter. Three three quarter inches tall, weird immobile head, kind of a strange sculpt that doesn't look that much like a Stormtrooper. It looks like a Stormtrooper's elderly relative. But hey, it's what we had like. There was a 12 inch version as well, but they were quite pricey, so you didn't see them very often. So that was that. But I tell you what, it's bloody different these days. Do you remember that Force Awakens film that came out just over a year ago? You may have seen an advert or two for it, to say the least. Well, they made Stormtrooper figures for that as well, and frankly I couldn't quite believe just how many different ones they were making, even from the same manufacturer. The main uh, manufacturer of Star Wars figures being Hasbro. Let's go through a journey of all the weird ones they made, because I got obsessed with it for some reason. So we start off with the one for the kids. Look, still the same scale after all these years, but more detailing and yeah. It's somewhat more precise, shall we say, in the way it's done. Um, gun comes out of the hand, the usual sort of thing, and it's back to the old Star Wars figure. Five points of articulation thing. You've got kind of a ball-jointed head going on, arms and legs go up and down, waist doesn't move, looks like it does, but it doesn't. And the legs, oddly for this figure, are sculpted very wide apart, so it looks like he's about to mount a horse or something. And they don't bend up very far, so he couldn't really sit in a vehicle, which is a bit of a disappointment. But other than that, it's quite solid. I'll tell you what else it is, far too bloody expensive. These were retailing for like £10 per figure. Which is a bit of an insult, because shortly before The Force Awakens came out, they were selling them in two packs. Not this specific figure, obviously, it hadn't been released. But they were being sold in two packs for £10, so it kind of doubled the price. Especially because some of the figures in the first wave of these Force Awakens things were actually things from Star Wars Rebels, etc. Which had previously been in the two packs, and you can actually still find in the shops at the same time. Bad Hasbro. Naughty. But yeah, it's a cheap, nasty produced one for the kids because why not, you know? They don't necessarily want to be spending a fortune on these highly super-articulated ones, but they do still exist. And I kind of thought they didn't, actually, but they bloody well do. Look, it is the same figure, but made out of a shinier plastic, which is a good start, and with more paint detailing. And overall, it's much nicer, but my god, it was expensive. These are a Walmart exclusive, which means in the UK you can only find them in Asda, and they seem to be virtually impossible to find. It took me bloody ages and cost me nearly £20 just to get one for this sort video. But it's much like those uh, Star Wars figures that came out when there weren't any films and only adult collectors were buying them. Very wobbly on the old chest joint there, but yeah, the head uh, moves a little bit more on the other one. You've got the full range of uh, things going on, the elbows and shoulders and heads, knees and toes and all that kind of stuff. Hello my baby, hello my honey, hello my ragtime girl, and all that kind of thing. So you've got a little slot on the side for putting a little pistol in it comes with, but I left the uh, guns in the package because I didn't want to lose them, because frankly this costs more than my house. So that's the two main three three quarter inch figures. Well I say the two main really, you're only going to come across that one generally, but if you want to spend more you can get this much prettier one. So you would now expect them to do a larger figure wouldn't you? And my goodness you'd be right, the black series six inch ones. And here is one we prepared earlier, and by prepared earlier I mean I bought it from a shop. I think it came from, uh, I was going to say the Disney store, but actually I don't think it did. But I tell you what, it doesn't matter, and I don't really give a shit. So yeah, these have become very popular over the last few years, basically larger scale Star Wars figures, hooray! This worked out about the same price as that one, unbelievably. They're about 20 quid, 22 quid, depending where you get them from. They're very nicely detailed, they have really good articulation. Look, he can, do, he can break his ankle when he's doing the ballet and everything. And overall, yeah, they're very nice actually. Look, it even came with this pistol that fits on there, much like the smaller one, but bigger. Do you see how that works? Yeah, I quite like these Black Series figures. Um, some of them are a bit hit and miss. There's a really shitey Darth Vader one where he just looks really sad, which isn't a good thing for a face mask. But overall, yeah, these are quite good. They're quite solid. Kids could play with them if they could somehow afford 20 quid each for the bastards. <laughs> <laughs> and you know full well they'll lose all the accessories immediately. But they look decent on the shelf. My only complaint with this is um, the f paint on the mask there is a little bit sort of splodgy around a bit. But it's not deadly. It's a good figure. Now, don't worry, they get smaller again. Yes, this is weird. There is a very specific type of figure, the cheapest one they make. They retail for about £6, and they're only sold in Aldi the discount supermarket in the UK, from what I can tell. Yes, this is weird. 
So here's your 3 3 quarter inch, and here is the oldie version. It looks the same scale as the last one, but it isn't. It's actually slightly smaller. And again, this is a Hasbro figure. It's sort of this weird in-between scale, and it's virtually not articulated at all. You have head movement, left and right, a little, little bit of ball joint there, that's nice. Arms go up and down, gun is actually moulded into the hand, and you've got waist movement, and that's it. The legs do not move at all. My friend Alec, who often does these Star Wars stuff with me, describes these as being like a bubble bath thing, you know, <laughs> where you get your matey and pull the head off and then pour the bubble bath in the bath. That's what you do with bubble bath if you were ever wondering. Don't drink it, no matter how good it smells. But yeah, it's, it's an odd one. The detailing's all right. Um, it's quite a nice thing for younger kids to play with, I suppose. It's a bit chunkier and maybe they don't need the legs to move. Although saying that, these legs don't move a whole bloody lot, do they? Maybe it isn't losing that much. Also made out of shinier plastic, so it looks a bit more film accurate. But yeah, they're the cheapest ones going, for good reason, but the sculpt is still solid. I shall show you some more of these afterwards. Um, my only main complaint, really, is that the big lumpy thing on the back is very much reduced to a little um, nub on the back there, whereas even, you know, the cheaper small figure has that. But hey, it's all right, innit, for the cheapest? No, we get even bigger. There's always a 12-inch one, isn't there? The standard sort of doll size. Um, oh, God, the front of this has become scratched horribly. What's happened there? Oh, I don't know. He's been in the wars. <clears throat> the Star Wars. Sorry, everyone. So, yeah, this one uh, much closer together. You got up there, mate. No, stay. Stay. Uh, Limb-wise, which does mean it has this sort of thinner look to it. But um, there was a retailing, I think they were going for about 20 quid. But I've seen them reduced to sort of £10 and below. I think I paid like six for this one. It did come with a gun, um, but I've lost it. I don't know where the hell that went. So we'll just have to imagine it had one. Are you all imagining? Good work. Yeah, the articulation is very basic. Similar to the three three quarter. You've got the legs going up, you've got the arms going up, and you've got the head moving around. And that's your lot. And yes, he also won't sit down. But they're really keen on producing this line for sort of uh, Disney and, you know, Marvel Star Wars properties, etc. Are uh, Mr. Hasbro, because there are loads of these bloody things around for the Avengers and for Iron Man and for Spider-Man and basically anything you can think of that they have the rights to. They have produced these large, very empty feeling plastic figures. They're not bad, but I don't know. I'm, I'm not entirely convinced that figures this big are really useful for the kids because it just doesn't fit with the other ones that they can actually afford. You know, they end up being like, here is a giant monster stormtrooper which is coming in and crushing the city or something. I mean, there's a laugh in that, but it's generally kids do like to reenact bits from the film. And I don't remember a bit from the film. There was a giant fucking stormtrooper in it. But don't worry, because they get bigger. <coughs> now we're just on to the farcically ridiculous, frankly. I don't know why this exists. This is it's made of a very soft plastic. Um, yeah, less shiny than the others. The gun, the gun does come out of the hand. Um, this is one of those things you kind of see on in supermarkets in the UK, and I don't really know why. Articulation, yep, exactly the same as the others, except the legs move even less, and the head only moves left and right. There's no sort of ball joint movement. Um, yeah, let's just have a Let's get some up here for scale, shall we? Here we are. You go between the legs there and shelter from the rain. So, here's our Stormtrooper family. Why does anybody need one that bloody big? Why? Why? What are you going to do with it? Use it as a kind of display for a cinema or something? I, just, I don't understand it. It's, it's all a bit odd, that one, frankly. So, we're basically looking at stormtroopers in toy sizes and whatever the hell this one is. One as big as your toddler, for some reason, which I simply don't understand. And that is the Hasbro Stormtrooper family for the first order types. Oh, wait. <coughs> There's a member I haven't mentioned yet. Yeah, they decided to go... <laughs> They decided to go one... I didn't realise just how ludicrous this would look until I put it in, but fucking hell, guys. So, yeah, it's... <laughs> it's what... I mean, this this is kind of weird and a novelty, but this, I don't know what the bloody hell this is, a fucking abomination, frankly. Um, the wrists move, look! <laughs> 
You've got no articulation of the legs though, much like the oldie one. Like, you go back there, mate, we'll uh, zoom in in a minute. But bloody hell. So, <clears throat> the littlest stormtrooper, the biggest stormtrooper. Why you would want one actually bigger than your child, I've got no bloody idea. I mean, it's nicely sculpted, etc. But, um, yeah, I... Uh, <sighs> Words fail me on that front. Something that is quite impressive, though, is they do seem to share mostly the same sculpt. Um, I don't know if it's like a 3D scan of the original armour or something, but they're all very similar. Um, there are only minor differences between them. Oh, dearie me. Why? Why? Is that got actual screws in it holding the gun together? <laughs> Look, bloody hell. Anyway. That's all your Hasbro ones that I'm aware of. Maybe there's another one that I've forgotten. If so, be sure to rudely tell me every time you see me for the rest of your life. Um, oh god, I've just found something horrible. Right, you remember I said these were about £10? This one actually cost like two quid more when I bought it, because it was the only one I could get hold of, because it came with action armour stuff. Why does it have a hat when he's already wearing a hat? Why doesn't it fit properly? Why does it just look like a load of shit stuck on a feet? Anyway, let's not get into that too much. Now, as I said, there are other companies making the Stormtroopers as well. Let's have a look at some of those. One of the ones you will find most commonly, because the Disney store is bloody full of them, are the Elite series. Look, they come with a base that says Star Wars on. Hooray. And they're bloody heavy, because they're actually made out of metal. Well, mostly metal. They are die-cast. The metal bits, uh, we've got the shins, we've got the upper leg, we've got the torso, we've got the arms up to the hand, which are plastic, and the head is plastic. So basically, plastic hands, head and feet, the rest of it is metal. And you can tell, because it's got really ugly screws in the back, which I don't quite understand. They're also, again, a weird scale. They don't quite fit with the Black Series ones, which is a shame. And also, being metal with paint on, they kind of don't look as accurate to the screen, because of course Stormtrooper armour kind of is plastic, isn't it, in real life? Um, I mean, no, they don't look bad, but unfortunately the metal means it's all a little bit soft on the detailing. Um, yeah, it's, it's sort of unnecessarily heavy, it's got very thin ankles, so it doesn't stand up very well. Um, the articulation isn't amazing, I mean, whereas this you can, you know, bring the hand in across the body and stuff, these are limited to up and down, and there's no sideways given them whatsoever. They all look a bit sort of bulky and naff, if you know what I mean. I do like that you can do that with the legs, which is clearly amazing. Um, they're also very... well, yeah, even the body is genuinely wider and bulkier than perhaps it should be. Also, the pauldron on this one, I couldn't find one without, is bloody dreadful. It just sticks out at an angle, look, and sort of floats in the air. You can't get it down. I was going to pull it off, but there seems to be... So it would leave some sort of ugly hole underneath, I think, which would be even worse. But yeah, I'm not uh, massively impressed with these. I mean, you've got visible screws, you've got where they've tried to cover up the screw holes and the rest of it. They work out slightly cheaper than these, but my god, they don't really look that good. I'm very much not sold on these Elite series. I don't know why they're made of metal, I don't know what the point of them really is. Um, they're just quite pricey and not quite good enough, really. Not a fan! Plus, if you were to give them to kids to play with, they'd get all the paint chipped off and look bloody dreadful really quickly. Boo! Boo to you, I say. But they are not the only metal figure. Takara, Japanese company, I believe, have produced these tiny little ones. Look how small it is. Look how I can't get it to hold the gun properly, because it's so bloody small. There we are. So here the legs and the upper torso are metal, and the head is plastic, and the arms are plastic. Um, yeah, and no leg movement once again. But this is probably the smallest one you're going to find, but I've got to say, paint isn't all that. Look at that. That looks kind of dodgy, to be brutally honest with you. Plus I had to pay like £10 to get this, and it's got a big screw in the back. Um, I mean, I know you've got to have screws to hold metal together, but at least, you know, try and cover it up with something, as they partially did on that. Right, let's have a look at the scale. Yep, it is the smallest. But my god, it is not really the best looking. A lot of these, actually, I've seen other figures in this range look a lot better. I don't know if I've just got a bad one there, or the First Order Stormtroopers a bit gammy or something. But I'm not massively impressed. Sit in the corner. Now we shall look at the very best one. that I think Alec put me onto these, and my god, he was right. This is a Bandai model kit. It actually comes in pieces, like these, and then you have to fit it all together, and it takes like three bloody hours. But my goodness, it's very good at the end of it. Just because I haven't put the white bits on the gun, that's a bit of a shame. It's incredibly articulated, but also quite fragile. It's not something you could give to kids to play with. It comes with replacement hands and bits and bobs, and, you know, you can basically pose it and it looks bloody amazing. And where is the areas? 
get put it next to the black series, you can see it's basically the same figure, except everything looks slightly better. If you want ones for your shelf, you cannot beat these things. They are really, really good, but you've got to be very patient putting them together, obviously. Also, you will notice that the helmet is lower down on the Bandai figure. I mean, it kind of has this slight, um, well, less of a neck thing going on, which looks slightly less cool, but I think is actually more accurate to the um, how they were in the film, from what I recall. Uh, so there we are, lots of points for the Bandai Namco kits. Also, if you want to get like Captain Phasma or C-3PO, they're actually um, vac metalized, so they, you know, look like proper shiny chrome stuff like they should, not just, here's some silver and gold paint, that'll do. Right, I'm quickly going to jump back to these um, weird oldie figures to end with, just because they had an interesting range of them. They come in these uh, actually quite attractive boxes here. Star Wars The Force Awakens. Look, there's Flynn doing his stuck-in-a-box look, because that's kind of what's going on with him there. Again, very good though. Good detailing. Face is uh, pretty solid. Quite like that. We've got Rey here, holding up her blue lightsaber, which she had to give back to Luke at the end because it wasn't hers. You mustn't steal lightsabers, kids. That's like the worst of all crimes. Face, again, pretty bloody good. Um, no leg articulation, as we said earlier, but it's not bad. And even on this one, the uh, lightsaber is a separate piece, which oddly it isn't for their Luke Skywalker figure, where it's moulded into the hand. Uh, that's a weird inconsistency. I don't quite understand that. Not a big fan of this. His hair looks kind of too big, and the face makes him look kind of too old and not actually much like Mark Hamill. They tried, but they did not succeed. Um, there's a good Vader. Doesn't move a whole lot, but, yeah, I mean, something for the kids to play with Vader-wise, that's actually pretty nice. Unfortunately, the face is so dark, it's not particularly showing up on camera. It's even got the red-tinted lenses, which I think means Return of the Jedi, if I recall. And there's even a Kylo Ren. Here he is, look, with his stupid broken lightsaber. Sort it out, Ren, you great big tit. Uh, his legs are just one solid lump of plastic. This is really is the bubble bath figure of the ones, I think. But again, it don't look, I mean, they don't look that bad. It does feel expensive for like six quid, I will say that. But it is the cheapest you can buy. So uh, if you want your kids to have something to smash around with, you're probably shit out of luck, because the problem is Aldi only have these hard lines, as in the non-food stuff, in on certain weeks, and then they're gone for, like, months or may never appear again. It's all very temporary. So I don't know where else you could buy these from. Um, a magic man called Jeffrey. There we are. Actually, I probably wouldn't recommend a meeting alone with a magic man called Jeffrey. That sounds like it could go very wrong. Anyway, there's a lot of bloody stormtroopers around here, aren't there? Subscribe for more.